in an unprecedented move, the Argentinian Supreme Court, under the pressure of the U.S. Justice Department, agreed to extradite Kurt Zonenfeld, a former Federal Emergency Management Agency official who revealed the U.S. government's connection with the 9-11 attacks. Zonenfeld has been living in Buenos Aires for more than 10 years, and according to the Denver District Attorney, he's charged with the killing of his wife back in 2002. The former agent, however, claims his wife killed herself and that prosecutors framed him for her death to prevent the truth about the 9-11 from coming to light. What has happened is that they revived the personal tragedy that I had suffered, the suicide of my first wife, Nancy, and they used that as a tool to bring me back to the United States, where I was under their control. Zunenfeld disclosed hours of classified footage and wrote a book entitled The Persecuted, recalling the facts that eventually transformed him into one of the worst U.S. enemies. According to him, the U.S. government not only knew about the attacks on the World Trade Center, but also had a role. Human rights organizations blasted the Supreme Court decision. The U.S. poor records in human rights should serve as one sufficient reason why our government should allow Sanonfeld's extradition. In their prisons, he, who is a father of two Argentinian children, may face torture and even be sentenced to death. Although the Supreme Court ruled the extradition of Kurt Zonenfeld admissible, it's up to the Argentinian president to decide whether to carry on with the sentence or to grant him political asylum. Human rights organizations affirm they are conducting last-minute negotiations with the government to accept Zonenfeld's plea to stay in the country. The extradition of Mr. Zonenfeld stirs up new tensions between Argentina and the U.S., and the final word from President Kirchner is now eagerly awaited both by the U.S. Embassy and his closest relatives. Manuel Gifoni, Press TV, Buenos Aires.